Okay, boys and girls, today I'm going to read you one of Ezra Jack Keats's favorite books that he wrote and one of my favorite books to read because you know that I love snow. I hope you love snow too. This is called The Snowy Day. So we're still working on comparing and contrasting. And as we read the story called The Snowy Day, think about what kind of a day you're having right now. Whenever you see me outside the window in the book, think about how your day is different or how it's alike. How are you, can you compare and contrast your day with Peter's day in this story? So let's get to it. There's my picture. So go look out your window and pause this video. Go look out your window and see what kind of a day you're having. And then come back and unpause and I'll start reading. Okay, welcome back. Let's get busy. One morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the streets to make a path for walking. I'm wondering what your day is like. Are we having a rainy day, a snowy day? Is it bright and sunny outside? What are you going to wear when you go outside? Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointed out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like this. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Look, now he's got two. Now he's got three tracks. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. I wonder what's gonna to happen to that snow. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. If you went outside right now and hit a tree, I wonder what would, ha what would fall on your head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Look, he was hit with a snowball. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked, up, he picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. I wonder if you went outside, what could you pick up and put in your pocket to bring inside? He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. I wonder, does your mommy help you get dressed when you come in from outside? And he thought and he thought and he thought about them. I'm wondering, do you think about things that you do while you're sitting in the bath? Do you think about all the fun that you've had? Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. I'm wondering, what do you dream about? But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together in the deep, deep snow. I'm wondering, do you have a friend that you play with 
what do you and your friend do if you play outside? Since we're still working on comparing and contrasting, as we read the story called The Snowy Day, think about the kind of day you're having now. And now that we're finished reading, make your tree map that shows how today in Amherst is like Peter's Day and how it's different from Peter's Day. Um, we, looked, we looked through the book and you saw me um, in the book quite often. Um, I was reminding you to think about your day and how it's like and how it's different from Peter's. You don't have to read all of this. We're not going to read it right now. But after you've finished all of your work, this is part of your book. If you wanted to pull it up, you can look through here because this is going to tell you more about Ezra Jack Keats. We're just going to flip through the pages really quickly so that you can see all of these things, all these pictures of, um, of Keats. And look at the snowy day. Look, it's been written in all of these different languages. Um, this is Japanese, and this is Spanish, this is French, this is Korean, and this is Chinese. So all this book has been written um, in a way that that children all over the world can read this book.